Yeah, you can smell how active, like heavy duty this cleaner is. I can see it. Of all the things we've been waiting to see with this Type R, this one's at the top of my list. Eddie's gonna help me paint correct and then ceramic coat the Type R today. That's what his car looks like. And he said he hasn't washed it for a week. So me and Eddie need to do a detailed video eventually um, because he actually used to do that as like a part-time job. So I have come to the right place today. Eddie, what did you just do? Tell him what's going on. I just foamed it with a high pH cleaner to take all the wax and shit off the car. And everything is chemical, guys? Uh, yeah, most of the stuff I have right now is chemical, guys. Awesome. This is clean slate from them. So this is basically used to get all the wax and just all the contaminants off the car. Basically, yeah, it strips everything off the paint. Because I had swirls right, uh, yeah, right when I got it from the dealership. Like Every car is like that. It'll look way better than when you got the car. Obviously I would help you, but you only have one mint, right? Yeah, sadly. I gave my other one to you, I think. That's right, yeah. <laughs> I just that's that's very more. true. I always forget a bunch of stuff, and it just so happened that I forgot my DA polisher, my discs, and uh, some other supplies. But we have everything we need here. See, watch out. If I'm right on this, it's not going to... Oh, you got good shit on that car. Yeah. So that stuff that Eddie just used is supposed to get all the wax off the car, but about a week ago, I applied the Griot's Garage 3-in-1 ceramic wax. And I'll tell you what, I don't think it's the best thing for black cars because it shows a lot of haze and it's really tough to get all like the smudges off, but it provides a very, very good coating. As you can see, it's still beating. I don't even know, they're from the rag company. They're just these awesome towels. Even wow, it's soaking wet and dry. That is very impressive. Yeah. I will post a link to these in the description and I need to buy some myself. That's insane, dude. Yeah, how well it's drying that. And then I'm gonna come behind Eddie with another micro proper towel and just make sure that it's all dry. Oh, God. Yeah, that's usually my method with that type of towel, too. This is a very good angle right here because we're going to be able to see all the little imperfections, all the micro scratches that this car has, and then I'll be able to show you guys what it looks like after. Have you, have you tried these yet? Um, chemical guys? No. There's a holy mammoth towel. The holy mammoth? Yeah, it's huge. So Eddie here has the chemical guys Torx. It's Torx, right? Yeah. That's the brand of the DA polisher. And then you have McGuire's pads. Uh, I'm going to end up going behind Eddie by hand because I forgot my DA polisher at my house. But this is what we're using for product, just like in the last video, McGuire's Ultimate Compound. You see a yeah, sparkle though. Holy sparkle. Yeah. That's crazy. So I'm getting all the weird spots in the car that the dual action polisher would kind of have a, an awkward time getting. Which, there's nothing wrong with doing it by hand. I mean, Chris Fix made a whole entire video of paint correcting your car by hand, so this is perfectly okay to do. So when you're doing the compound and polish, you don't want to use too much product because then it's going to be a pain in the ass to get off. So I just used a little bit, and then we'll see how well it comes off. trick I ever did. I thought I saw someone told me to wet these rags a tiny bit so they're like damp. Like you can feel it. It's like not wet, but it's like wet. Does it, it, help it, off the it takes it. I don't understand it. It takes awesome. it off amazing. He said it, it will help it not scratch any of the paint as, as much. Dude, yeah. On camera this looks 
ridiculous. That's how it's it's just it's a mirror, man. This has all been done. Just compound. We just compounded Cameron's car. Now let's look at his mobile real quick. work needs to be done but she's doing good. That's alright. The compounding got all the deep stuff out. Look at that. All the compounding and polishing is done. This looks insane. And we haven't even applied the coating yet. Look at that. You guys have seen me do the polishing plenty of times. I just did it a few weeks ago with Kenny on his Acura TLX. So let's just get right to the good stuff. The hood has been ceramic coated. And it looks really good. This shit will blow up. I'm on fire. This might be the best ceramic coating I've actually dealt with. So Eddie, explain to us the process of the ceramic coating. Oh man, you just put the coating on and we'll bang. Yep. That's basically <laughs> it. Basically, you just prep it, decontaminate it, make sure everything's off the paint, and then you put it on. Well, it's really simple. I think the older coatings are way harder than the newer ones. Cause you always talk, people always talked about like high spots and stuff like that, but a lot of these new coatings are very easy to do. Most of the time if the coating's hard to do, you won't even be able to buy it. You have to be an authorized installer to get it. Like that's how a lot of G-Technics ceramic coatings are. You have to be a certified installer to even buy the crap. Damn, dude. Right? That looks so good. This is the stuff we're using. So you can use it on the paint, wheels, trim. It doesn't say if we could use it on glass, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we can. I'm excited to see how hydrophobic it is. I am too. So this is what it looks like when you guys apply it. And you just give it like 30 seconds to haze over and then wipe it off, that's it. Yeah, I think it says like, 10 to 30 seconds or something like that. Okay. But I just went about this. We're doing two coatings, or two coats. So. <laughs> dude, I can see you perfectly. Oh, yeah, dude. Shut up. Hold on, huh? So right after you guys apply it, uh, this stuff is starting to instantly change color. Uh, it's called a flashing, right? Yeah. And that's when you know it's okay to take it off. You gotta love black cars when they're clean. Gotta love them. You can probably see it change colors. Oh, video. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Look at damn near. Yeah, out of the ethos graphene coating I've used, and I've used a couple others that I honestly just don't know the name of. This is the easiest stuff to fucking deal with. Like, you do not not have to know what you're doing at all to do this. The second coat, I'll probably let it sit on there a little longer. So we did our first coat, and then what, what are the rules with the second coat, Eddie? You gotta wait an hour. I'm just redoing this because this was the first touch and I don't think I did a good job. I did not get this coverage. You can instantly see it start to change colors. I mean, you don't even have to put any pressure, it's just going to be off. So we're actually doing a third coat, because why not? Eddie is following the instructions, and I'll show you guys, after two coats, actually two and a half now, that's how much we have left. Actually a pretty decent amount, so I still have enough in here to do a refresh in about six months. But basically what you want to do is the two tell method. So I'm letting Eddie go ahead and he's applying the coating. He's more experienced than me. So he's applying the coating, doing a wipe, and then I'm going behind him and making sure that it's all wiped off so that it's all level and there's no streaks and stuff like that. So Eddie has already done all of this. I'm just making sure I hit these creases right here. Because anytime you're doing something like this inside and then you go to pull it outside, you're going to notice things that you missed. Crazy. All right, 
well, see how it looks. Okay, the sparkle looks ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that. Damn. Dude, the sparkles are like popping. Wow. Yep. Very happy I got black. That is a lot of sparkle action. Looks incredible. Oh, there's that big golden retriever. <laughs> so Eddie has a hairless cat. You gotta see this. What's up, hey, buddy? <laughs> He has a very interesting meow. Yeah, dude. Dude, I've never heard a cat meow like that before. Yeah, that's what he does. Hey, oh, motherfucker. That's a bad hey. boy. Hey. <laughs> dude. His name's Yoda. Yoda? What's up, buddy? Thanks, man. Dude, of course, brother. Appreciate it. Of course, bro. I'm glad I could help. So, here we are, a few days later. Cheeseburger Viv is actually going to be Sushi Viv today. That's how I got her out here. I bribed her with some sushi. That's her other guilty pleasure. Just so you guys know. Thanks. What? There's nothing wrong with that. Is your watch volume on? It doesn't connect because that, that's an airplane mode. That's the only way that mic doesn't well, crackle. I'm tell you if I see a cop. Just signal or something. Like a this. I'm not gonna speed. Okay. I'm not speeding. Shiny. Like, I think so. Really shiny. Are you just making that up because I told you that I coated it? No, I actually, when you drove off and it hit the sun, I was like, oh my god, he's sparkling. I'm sparkling, bitches. Yeah, yo. Also, was the car supposed to make that high pitch, whatever that was? It's the air conditioning. Oh. Yeah. I, already, I already told them about it. It's a, it's a common problem with these tension Civics. I'm surprised I didn't experience it with my SI, but I actually had one of my subscribers named Miguel message me on Instagram, and he told me everything I need to do to fix it. He's a master tech for Honda. Oh, wow. So anyway, I'm going to do all of that sometime this weekend. Okay. It looks really clean, like really nice. Yeah, and it's been a few days. It's Thursday, and we did the ceramic coating Tuesday, so, know what I'm saying, babe? It looks good. It looks good, eh? Hey, it looks good there. Can Thank I you. Sushi? What about your sushi? Should I order it now? Yeah. It's gonna take us about 12 minutes to get there. So how do you think the exhaust sounds? It sounds really nice, minus that little... That the AC whistle. Yeah. Yep. And my AC wasn't even on, so it's just like... Really? A, it's a problem where the air conditioning actuator, whatever the hell that is, gets stuck partially open, no matter if the AC's on or off, so. That Acura has red rims and it's a white car. Why would you do that? Ooh, you're gonna upset someone watching, babe. Okay, well then just cut that part out. 
I guarantee someone watching has red rims, which, hey man. No, I am all for red rims, it's just... Sorry babe, sorry, sorry, I have to, I have to correct you. Wheels, it's wheels. Whatever. It's okay, wheels. yeah. I yeah. don't know all the terminology. No, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm correcting you so the boys okay. don't. Because the boys might be a little more harsh than me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a noob, guys, go easy. But yeah, it's a white car, it just looks odd to have bright red wheels. I don't know. I wouldn't do it personally, but if would. if that's what you like, do what you like. It's a free country. Is it? Uh, not so much anymore. So Vivian was telling me, I got home and she's like, babe, I think I want the car in red. I as know. in the GR86. I changed my mind a lot, I know. It's okay. We can get it in whatever color you want. They might have a cooler color than red. They might have a really nice blue. I was just thinking about that. Like that blue? That would be cool. I'm gonna put it in one. That would be a nice blue for the for the 86. I'll be gaining weight, guys. I can. You pause it. <laughs> no. I gained five pounds like in the past week. I've just been eating terribly, not working out as much as I should. So I'm gonna hold myself accountable. I'm gonna go do chest and back tonight. Stay home and play Call of Duty. We can play Call of Duty as well. I'm off tomorrow. I'm gonna drink wine and white claws. Wine and white claws. Maybe just the white claws. White claws and white claws. 